Hey guys, Bitsmithson here at Samsung Vlogs. I welcome your faces to part two of our Star Wars Celebration video mini series. Prepare yourselves and sit back, grab a snack, grab a drink, keep you up, most importantly, have fun, like and subscribe down below, hit that bell notification to keep today, everything here on Samsung Vlogs. And of course, check out those wonderful links in the description for TikTok, Instagram, Resort, and Twitter. Also, at Samsung Plays, at SamsungPlays.com, and of course, my Twitch, Samsung underscore Plays 13, where you can catch awesome gameplay of games such as Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Hogwarts Legacy, Final Fantasy VII, and of course, Warzone on Warzone, Wednesdays. So, day two of Star Wars Celebration then. Let's get into it. So, it was an awesome first day. We got to see almost everything. But obviously, we still have three days to do. And it's just like, well, what are you going to do over those three days? Well, one thing we hadn't yet done was visit the all-important Celebration store. At the event, it's where all the official and, and exclusive celebration, that celebration particularly only merchandise are. So like shirts, tops, jumpers, hats, cups, all of that good stuff. So let me give you a glimpse of some of that right now for your faces. About to enter the store now. <laughs> what should we go find first? British cup? For some British tea? <laughs> Oh, so just oh, so, okay. Same cup. So this is this is new. Then probably sold out because. Hey, <laughs> What's wrong with it? I don't like it. Nice. Too much color. The cash, the cash cow. It's where they take the money. This one, should I get large or extra large? Extra large. Huh? Extra large. Really? Should I try it on? Did you find an extra large? Huh? Did you find an extra large? Yeah, this is the extra large one. Yeah. I really don't like the colour. Why? Too many colours. Huh? They know nothing about... What do you think? On me? Oh. Take a picture or something so I can see. So guys, that was um, a quick snippet of the, of the tour of the shop. Um, it's not over yet, so hold your breath. <laughs> we'll be right back. But, question. That last jumper at the end that you saw there, what do you guys think of it? Let me know down in the comments. I didn't actually end up buying it. Um, I did buy something, which you guys will see um, towards the end of this part, or at least at the end of the video. Um, but I didn't buy that one because uh, apparently no one liked it. Not my mom, not my dad, not Zach. Um, for those of you who don't know, that's Durag from Warzone Wednesdays. And of course, not my girlfriend either. <laughs> so no one liked it, so I didn't get it. But let me know what you think, and here, take a look at me actually in it. 
Hey guys, so yeah, that's what I look like. Let me know down in the comments, like I said. And we're gonna get back to the tour of the store. <laughs> Do you think any of them are nice? Mm, better than the Jumbos, I guess. I like the Trooper. What? what? This one? This one? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see shirts. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? That looks alright. What a lot. But Same as the other hat. I don't really like the shape of it. I've always, I hate other hats, I don't like hats, I hate the bend, no, never. I'll never get a hat. Oh, forget that, get that out of your head, it's never happening, I hate them. It just looks like your forehead's so huge. Why is this, it looks like it's bent or something? Yeah, it's bent forward, upwards. Why is it bent upwards? That's why I was what? asking you, then you were like, I'm never getting a top. I'll never get a cap. A cap like that. I'll never get a bent one, it's always going to be straight. Yeah, but that's not str that's straight and up. Maybe there's something wrong with this one, but this, what do I look like in it? Is the colour bag like... What else is wrong with it? It's green, it fits with the jumper, so... <laughs> Hi guys, as you can see, we spent a lot of time in that store. I think we spent nearly an hour and a half in there. Now, when you see the fact that the store isn't, you know, packed with loads and loads of stuff, is it filled with loads and loads of people because they, you know, they put people in and wait till they come out before they let more people in. We spent way too much time in there. <laughs> way too much time in there. But it was fun. Um, it was fun time all the clothes and all the stuff. Um, see all the t-shirts and all the other merchandise there. I had fun. I wish I had more money to have bought everything I wanted, but hey. And I do actually regret not buying that Return of Jedi for a year um, baseball cap that we just saw there. But alas, you know, you can order these, you can order Star Wars hats online. Um, I am thinking of ordering a new hat because while well, this one is good, this is the Simpson Players hat that has been part of the family for a long time. We do need to diversify and potentially have different hats for different games. And when we're playing Star Wars games, we should probably have a Star Wars hat. So that's in the offing. If you guys know any cool ones, leave that in the comments down below. But other than that, um, let me show you what I actually did buy. This fourth anniversary return of the Jedi. Let's try it on. Extra large, don't fat. Inside pockets. What do you think? You look good. Right, right. <laughs> what do you guys think then? That jacket is awesome, is it not? Um, we do have it here with us. Um, I'm going to show it off now because you guys just saw it. Um, and it was cool, wasn't it? <laughs> let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. I mean, if you don't like it, do let me know as well. Nothing wrong with that. We can agree to disagree. <laughs> um, so before we left the start then, I do show off some of my lightsaber techniques. What little of them I have. <laughs> So guys, there were my lightsaber skills. Let me know what you think of those down below in the comments. I do recommend where and how I should learn some more. Um, also, we're going to be moving on from the store now. So sit back and stay tuned for some of the cosplay from day two. <laughs>
<laughs> so that little exhibit there was from the uh, Emperor's Room or Throne Room upon Death Star 2, obviously, for those of you who know your Star Wars very well, but there's a little bit of information for those of you who don't. <laughs> it's obviously there getting electrocuted. <laughs> I hope some of you enjoyed that. Hopefully not too much though, because that's a bit morbid. <laughs> but we'll continue with the video with some more cosplay now. Step one, wake up for the gon' rap the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. So, hello guys, that was just a bit of the cosplay from day two. We saw Epic Mandalorians. We saw some stuff from the Old Republic video games and Old Republic lore and general legends stuff. And of course, we got to meet Vader himself. <laughs> well, I say Vader himself. It wasn't like it was James Earl Jones or <laughs> Hayden Christensen. But hey, that was a pretty good Vader outfit, if you ask me. <laughs> So after that, we did pay a visit to the extensive art gallery that they ha actually had there. So there was artworks that were actually available to purchase. They had pre-purchases, which you know, could get it framed and delivered to you, or you could come and pick it up and it would be framed. God knows how, how any of those people were going to take that shit home. <laughs> but hey, that's what they wanted, that's what they got. Um, you could buy it on the day, you just couldn't get it framed, I believe. I don't know if it was because they ran out of frames or, or it was just some part of the thing, I don't know. But you definitely could buy it on the day if they had it. And here it is. Check some of it out now. best bits from the art gallery in my personal opinion i couldn't cram all of it in there there was a lot more on offer but that was some of the best bits for you guys to enjoy i hope you did please let me know down in the comments um also of note uh, if you follow my instagram down below you'll be seeing more and more posts and pictures wise and, and stuff from the events that are not making a part in these videos well i thought i'd save the best to last for you guys the 15 year clone wars panel anniversary it is awesome it was fun it was jam-packed and there were some surprises in there because i didn't realize who some of the voice actors were <laughs> i don't know why i've never, never even looked i never paid that much attention to who the actual voice actors of the act of the um characters in the show are i know it's bad of me it's not very nice to not pay attention to the epic and great well done voice acting 
done by these guys but my eyes have been opened <laughs> and they are a fun group once they are all together so do check it out right here come to their senses and realize that uh, i was completely underqualified for this job and uh, i met george met him he was super nice explained what jedi were to me i'm like this is the coolest thing ever and uh, then he said thank you very much and i said thank you very much and i thought that was it and i have a great story for in line at the movies because i met george lucas and then they pop in there and said he likes you you got the job and then my first thought was wow they don't have any idea what they're doing here <laughs> <laughs> because i wouldn't hire me for this job but it seems to have worked out because George wanted to tell the story of the Clone Wars way more in depth than it had been done and he wanted to be involved with the scripts and the process and uh, that's where it kind of all began. Right? And Dave, I don't even know if you remember this, uh, maybe you do, but you know, in the beginning you wanted Ahsoka to have an Icelandic accent. Oh, I know, yeah, <laughs> I and know. I couldn't do it and so somehow I managed to get a call back. Um, and you told me to practice my Icelandic accent. Yeah, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, I did, and I went, I found like the top dialect coach in all of LA, and I studied and studied and studied. And I first line in Icelandic, and you tell me, you're like, no, can you make it sound more Icelandic? And I was like baffled. And I did something I normally would never do, and I raised my hand and I was like, I'm sorry, I am doing Icelandic. I don't know what you want. That can, that can happen. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I heard it and then it's like, nah. <laughs> but I, I mean, look, there's no other way to say it. I like your voice. That was the better one. So why do Icelandic? Right. Well, my journey with uh, Obi Wan began actually 20 years ago for the micro series of the Clone Wars. So I don't know if you guys know that. But back then, I always joked it took longer to park my car at Cartoon Network and walk than it did to record the lines because it was always like, "That was Anakin, Anakin, Anakin." Okay, James, we're done. And that was it. <laughs> How many ways could you say Anakin? You know. And so then uh, they brought me in for the Revenge of the Sith video game. And it was when we were doing the scenes, uh, David Collins, tremendous voice actor and director and talented composer was directing us in the game. And he said, I've got this scene I gotta show you. And it was like strapped to his wrist with a handcuff, you know, this green screen or blue screen stuff of Ewan McGregor doing the scene. And they said, can you match this? Because it was the game had to match it. And it was at that point that they kind of went, okay, I think we got, because I was able to find those, he's got that wonderful texture, you know, to his voice when he, come to your senses, what would Padme do if she was in your position? It was about that way of doing those things, right? <laughs> he's over in the other space. Okay, bigger, bigger, better Obi-Wan over there, but uh, you can, uh, <laughs> no, come on, kid. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But, so it was just a, it was a great honor, and it is a great honor, and then getting to meet Dave, and get to work, and Henry Gilroy and all of them, and came in, and so I was just very blessed to be able to be a part of all of it. And then uh, Flo Koon, uh, just one of my absolute favorite characters, too. <laughs> Dave said one word, he said Gandalf, and we thought, oh yeah, Gandalf, yes. <laughs> so you see that actually, it's Matthew Wood is part of Flo Koon as well, because I do like this, Ahsoka. Was so good, yeah, it's got all you. And then he takes it and pitches it down and puts it through a process. Oh, let it caught all you. Yes. But didn't we like, I started watching the second season yeah. and I was listening and I'm just a mimic. I just, whatever I hear, I repeat. And so I heard Plo lower. We got in an endless loop of going low because you kept doing it as low as we fit it. We'd make it lower, then you'd do it lower. <laughs> and I don't, when do I stop processing this? <laughs> now, like, oh, oh, yeah. like humpback whales are going to start beaching themselves. <laughs> <laughs> we have feelings and you did it. That's why I did it. You used it against me. Makes me have feelings too. <laughs> I, I hate you. You are my brother, Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> For you, Amy. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I'm sure anyone who knows me knows I have. I, I really love. <laughs>
<laughs> so guys, those were but a few clips of the panel and the back and forth between each and every one of the voice actors and Filoni himself was just awesome and you can see how much of a of a tight knit unit, almost family like that they are, and the way they were just playing off each other and playing for us really. The the, the voice acting, the the lines from the from the shows, the lines from the movies, from the TV shows that they're able to do because they are those characters, even though they're not those characters in that necessarily media platform, they can take the lines and just produce it on cue. And it's amazing, especially D when you think about it, he's the voice of every single clone in the animation. And in the Bad Batch, you know, he's a Wrecker, he's Tech, he's Hunter, he's all of them. Uh, you know, Echo, Rex, he's all of them. And it was just awesome. It was just, once, once you're there to experience that live, it's like, oh, more, please, don't let it end. <laughs> it was just amazing. But yes, that was some of the clips. I won't play them all because I've got way too many. <laughs> and there's just not enough time in this video to put all of them in. Um, and some of them just don't do the justice of, of how incredible they actually sound over the microphone live. Um, alongside that uh, was obviously the announcement, I'm sure you've heard by now, that Tales of the Jedi Season 2 will be coming <laughs> to Disney+. Plus. We don't know when yet, but it's happening, it's live, Filoni said so. <laughs> so we've got that awesome show to look forward to. So yes, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's in the same form as the last one. The uh, last one was received well, the shorts were received well. So hopefully this one's received just as well. Leave comments, likes, you know, all that good stuff down below. Hit that bell notification, keep it every here on Simpsons Vlogs. And of course, check out the wonderful links in the description for TikTok, Instagram, Result, and Twitter, all the Simpsons Plays, SimpsonPlays.com, and of course, my Twitch, Simpsons underscore plays 13, where you can catch me doing awesome gameplay for Star Wars, you know, Jedi Survivors out, we're doing that. Obviously, there's Hogwarts Legacy and Final Fantasy 7 still here on the channel. Oh, not this channel, but on Simpson Plays and Simpson underscore Plays 13 on Twitch, alongside Warzone on Warzone Wednesday. Drop a follow over there to see when I'm streaming and what I'm streaming. Well, guys, you got next week to look forward to day three. <laughs> so stay tuned for that because the cosplay competition is over on that one. So stay tuned for that. And again, hit the bell to keep up to date with everything here. Until the next time, I'm going to love you and leave you. Hope you've had fun because I sure did. Peace.